Hi, Offa. It's nice to meet you. Hi, hello. Uh, this is Offa. He is the director of the Research School of Management. And one thing I know about you is that you've written four books and you've also written 200 scholarly journal articles. How do you do that in one lifetime? <laughs> keeping yourself busy and very passionate about what you do. I think whatever you do, it's very important to be passionate, to love what you do, and I enjoy my uh, research, I enjoy uh, to do what they do, mm. and uh, that brings great productivity and I hope quality. And what's the most profound thing you found from your research? Unfortunately, people have very uh, short-term uh, perspective of life. Uh, they don't always see the big picture, don't always think about the long term. Yeah. So my research is on project management and mm. in this context this means that people try to uh, get away and finish project as quickly as possible to get uh, sometimes even a financial reward like a bonus if you finish mm. a project uh, ahead of time. But people don't always think about the long-term uh, benefits, what will happen, what's the, what's the purpose of we just invested the uh, millions of dollars and spent a few years on just replacing one information system with uh, another one. Mm. Uh, and what change did we make? What yeah. the impact did we uh, do with this uh, project? And people don't always take a bit more time and think about strategically what really the impact of what they do. And if there's one article you could get your students to read? But I think students that come, especially from industry or with the lack of industry experience and come to academia, understanding the concept of theory is important. And we have a great colleague in the Research School of Management, uh, Shirley Gregor, who wrote an excellent uh, paper about theory and what it means and what it can be used for. And for many students, theory is just an academic word that means nothing and it's not mm. practical and we don't use it in practice but actually theory can be very useful and she shows in the paper that uh, you can use theory to un analyze understand what's mm. happening you can use theory to predict the future what will happen and so on even to design some action uh, intervenous in intervenous in what uh, is been uh, happening in organization and i think this is fascinating and you talk about students coming from the industry does that mean you teach post postgraduate the ANU is uh, focused on uh, both under big undergraduate uh, classes, but as big as the undergrads, are, we have uh, postgraduate uh, classes and uh, PhD uh, classes. So this is a major uh, uh, emphasis of uh, the uh, ANU. Still, big classes uh, in uh, relative to other universities being very small and great uh, ratio between uh, staff members and uh, students. And another thing I know about you is that you've had a lot of awards in the past. And one thing that struck out to me was the ANU Vice Chancellor commendation. Oh, it was great. It was a teamwork of a few of us in the Research School of Management that worked mm -hmm. on a program at uh, Chinua University in uh, Beijing. Uh, developing a very unique program that uh, is being taught by the two universities in uh, Beijing and the uh, ANU. It has been going for a few years now, it has been very successful, so this is uh, something that works uh, really well and uh, within this uh, team, uh, I think this was a very uh, a great uh, uh, appreciation of uh, the work that we have done and getting this uh, award was just a bonus. So Alpha, do you travel a lot? Yeah, I happen to travel a lot uh, with work. Right. Um, yeah, this is a major part of uh, what we do as academics. Canberra is a very festival heavy city. Do you have any favorite festival? The Multicultural Festival is uh, my favorite one. That uh, was last week. It was, yeah, and I like the uh, food and the performances from so many countries and the different traditions that you see and yeah. the people that, that I think that's amazing. That's a, really unique experience that we have every year. So Alpha, yeah. do you have any secret talents your students don't know about? It's a stretch to call it a talent, but yeah. I do play tennis and oh. I uh, okay. do it regularly. I'm not uh, very good at this, so uh, I wouldn't consider this as a great talent, but it's something that makes me uh, do some exercise and have some fun with some uh, friends at the club uh, twice uh, or three times a week, so that's a uh, big fun. Thank <laughs> you so much Alpha for being right. Thank um, you. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>